I've always wanted to have a device to control the X, Y and Z axes without having to use, that's on my mill, and also the A axis, without having to use the keys on the standard Mac, one, uh, Mac 3 screen where you jog them um, via the buttons and I found this very tricky and easy to make a mistake so I bought this device which is a USB operated device and the first thing to do when you get it is not to load the software that comes with it on the CD you merely go into Mac 3 go to config um, config plugins and then where it says Shuttle Pro you click on config at the side, you click on the arrow and make sure it's enabled then click on there and it gives you a device that is not exactly the same as the one that you've got but the buttons operate the same nevertheless so the x-axis is here the y-axis is here the z-axis is here, in my case the a-axis is there and this button here I've used for reset so what I've got on here is X, Y, Z, A and reset then on the bottom right hand side you have to click on the express button and then OK. And having done that, you have to reboot. So I'll just close down while I reboot. OK, I've just rebooted. Um, and I'm now in a position to just test whether it's working. I've got everything switched on and running on my axes. So if I select, say, the X button, and I've got movement in the X direction, select the Y button, select the Z button, And now select the X, the A axis. Okay, so looking at on at on the screen, so you can see what I'm doing. That's A axis. X axis. Y axis Z axis Now in the middle <coughs> of this is this little control here which allows me to move a very small amount at a time so if you look on here So it's possible to control this with a great deal more accuracy than you can do with the keypad. Now the settings that I found I had to use uh, I've shown on here I needed the uh, I set the jog step to a very small amount just so that I could get down to close to zero if I wanted to um, but I found I need sorry, to here, to a hundred. If I set it to a lower figure, say to 10%, 
and control it you'll see that the difference is you've not got a rapid movement that's it it works brilliantly I can't see any downside to it at all uh, the only thing is it didn't mark which direction the button when you turn the ring on the outside moves so I marked on top of here an arrow in the minus and the plus directions just so that I can be sure I'm moving things the right way so if I move this to the right it's going in the plus direction and I move it to the left it's going in the negative direction very simple